Welcome back to Think Action News, everybody. David Schuster here, our third hour of the show. We uh, interviewed earlier in our last hour, Mumia Abu-Jamal, who's convicted of killing a Philadelphia police officer, Daniel Faulkner, back in 1981. Interesting interview with him, somewhat controversial uh, figure, and an adversarial interview at, that it was. Uh, and we're getting some feedback. One of his supporters uh, just called in and thought that we were being unfair and tried to point out that the um, that some of the police officers involved in the investigation, that they were caught in a corruption probe. And yes, that's true. They were part of a corruption probe. And I have said clearly, I believe the Philadelphia Police Department in the 1970s and 80s was corrupt and that there was rampant racism and that a lot of people in Philadelphia were treated unfairly. But what I can't get around and as you heard from the interview with Mumia Abu-Jamal, I cannot get around the evidence in his case, the particulars in his case, that the, that the bullets that were found in Officer Faulkner were fired by the gun that came from Mumia Abu-Jamal that was found on him, a 38 caliber revolver. I also can't get around the prosecution witnesses who were within 50 feet, three of whom testified they saw Mumia Abu-Jamal approach Officer Faulkner, who was involved in an altercation with Mumia Abu-Jamal's brother, and that they saw Mumia Abu-Jamal shoot Officer Faulkner. I just can't get around that. Oh, and to me, you can, you can believe that the Philadelphia Police Department is racist and that they were corrupt and that there were things at this trial that were not done well. But I think you can also believe that Mumia Abu-Jamal was the murderer in this case, David? David, Maris, David what did you make of the interview? Well, I, you know, I, I have to say, I, 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 I'm not familiar with every single bit of evidence in in this particular case. I, I look, I, I, he certainly sounded like a, a gentleman, and um, and and, and I, I appreciated that. And I, the other thing that I wonder is, you know, there, it seems like at this stage, maybe there would have, there would be a possibility of. Of parole or mercy, if he if he did back down, and the fact that he doesn't shows that he probably r truly truly believes in in his innocence, and uh, that was compelling to me, and I mean, that's what I'll say. 